The Department of Energy is in the process of destroying America's supply of uranium-233, an extremely rare uranium isotope not found in nature. Hundreds of millions of dollars are being spent to downblend and vitrify it. Today, this act of destruction is costing American taxpayers $500 million. In the future, the cost of this destruction will be described in billions, if not trillions of dollars, as the full impact of this plays out. The uses of uranium-233 are many. They include powering America with an inexhaustible supply of clean, inexpensive energy. They include fighting cancer with new radioactive medical isotopes. And they include the continuation of America's deep space exploration. You want a clean future where America ends its dependence on oil imports from the Middle East? Then do not spend $500 million to destroy the uranium-233. You want to fight leukemia, cancers of the pancreas, kidneys, and other organs with new targeted alpha radiotherapy techniques? Then do not spend $500 million to destroy the uranium-233. You want to continue sending probes beyond the asteroid belt as we've done in the past? Then save yourself $500 million and halt the destruction of uranium-233. What uranium-233 can do, which is unique, which is why it is an invaluable resource, not just to the United States, but to the world, is that it can be used to inexpensively create other rare radioactive isotopes. In 1974, Alvin wrote about the global effects of man's production of energy, and in 1975, testified before Congress on the dangers of global warming. America's uranium-233, combined with plentiful thorium, provide an answer to both our domestic energy challenges and to the threat of global warming. They can be deployed on ocean coastline, providing enough energy to desalinate seawater as a free byproduct of energy production. Coal costs about $40 in the, a ton in the U.S. today, two cents a kilowatt hour just for the coal fuel. So this says electricity is about five cents a kilowatt hour. In the lifter case, we're looking at a little less capital cost than a coal plant. The cost recovery then two cents a kilowatt hour, the fuel cost being negligible, or a total cost of about three cents a kilowatt hour. This is a future of energy abundance because our energy can be produced without pollution. Thorium advocates have tried contacting the Department of Energy on this matter. This is a very typical response. DOE lists off the different types of reactor research they are conducting, but at this time, we are not conducting any work specifically related to molten salt reactors. We are currently not supporting any projects that require uranium-233 for testing. As such, the disposal of uranium-233 will go forward as the schedule and funding of EM allows. Is our stockpile scheduled for decommission? The uranium-233? Yeah. It's uh, the decommissioning is undergoing as we speak. So this is something that uh, we need to act on soon. All we want is for the destruction of our uranium-233 to stop. It was created with taxpayer money. It belongs to the citizens of the United States. Thank you for watching. Please take one more minute to sign the thorium petition.